Hey guys, Mary J. M. June 4th at 106. So, unfortunately, I'm tired, but <clears throat> at least I did. By the time I fall asleep, it'll probably be 2. I'm drinking more water. I didn't finish all my energy drink. But, <clears throat> I don't really think it's really helping. Like, it's helping, but it's not helping. So, that's what I'm like, well, I'll just drink some more water and then go to eat and then go to sleep. Um, I did at least finish the counter, kind of, and the space wrap set, so I, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I, uh, this is why I'm so tired. I use a cloth to, uh, wipe down each one and put them in the order. I don't really have a certain order of how I do it. It's just like stuff that I use the most is in the front and then everything else is in the back or down below so I'm just so tired I can't even think straight again. So I'm like I wanted to keep cooking rather do dancing but <clears throat> unfortunately I have to eat and go to sleep soon. So I did make the garlic pasta. And this time I added some balsamic vinegar to it. But I think it tastes really, really good with it that way. But yeah, I love this stuff. <laughs> I love pasta. I literally could live off pasta. And I have lived off pasta before. Mm. Okay. And then I cut some tomato and onions. So tomorrow I could fry it up. Cause I usually eat that with everything. And then I made the rest of the Inuki mushrooms. So I already did the tofu because the breaded tofu kind of fell apart. So I'm just going to use the tofu from that. And then this is the side dish. And then the sauce is just like soy sauce, sugar, green onions, garlic, and ginger I think. And then you put it like all together and it's like so good. <laughs> so that's what, like, I really wanted to finish off the sauce, but I'm not going to eat that much tonight. So I'm actually eating the pasta with my fries that were leftovers. <laughs> and I always put, like I said, the natural yeast. I always sprinkle this on my pasta or whatever like food that I'm eating. So it's like a little cheesy and then when you put it in the microwave it kind of like melts it so that's how I get my B12 and um like I said I eat uh I used to salad a day with chia seeds um I used to have hemp seeds and then have it with hemp seeds but I think I know. Oh. <laughs> My sinuses are messed up too. It's so funny because I made, I bought yams like a week ago and they're actually still pretty good. <laughs> so I gotta cut that up tomorrow and then roast it with the eggplant. Just so much cooking because I buy, because I always want a variety when I eat. Like I said, I'm always craving something different. Like yesterday I made the tofu steak. The vegan tofu steak. Still have some of that in my fridge. Not all of it though. And then... I made the peanut butter cups. I think I have... I've only had two <laughs> so far. So I still have a few, but they're not going to last long. And then... 
like now I want my pasta with fries because <laughs> I love fries. I know I eat a lot of starchy foods, but <clears throat> it's like my comfort food. And I used to take B60 pills that were vegan, but they're too expensive, so I haven't been able to afford that. Or my multivitamins, because they're just too expensive, so... It's not too bad, though, because I do have my calcium pills, and I do take my protein shake every day, my vegan protein powder shake. <clears throat> I just had that earlier, too. So people are like, why are you always in the washroom? Like, I drink so much stuff. <laughs> that's why I'm always in the washroom. I drink, just drink a lot of stuff. So that's how I get my protein. And peas are also a good source of protein. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and like I said, I already had a salad. So I always have chia seeds and like celery and carrots and stuff like that. So tomorrow when I make or, yeah, when I wake up and I make it, I'll show you guys, again, the salad that I usually have. Just because people think that I don't eat healthy, and I'm not health healthy, but I am healthy. I just don't have a lot of fruit. That's because fruit is too expensive. Even the frozen stuff at $3.99, I think it was at No Frills. I was going to get a bag, but then I was like, it's still pretty expensive, $3.99, because it's a small bag, and it's not going to last long. So, when I go up to um, Fraser on Monday, I'm going to check out the fruit, but I eat a lot of vegetables, so I think that's fine. I just don't really like the taste of fruit anymore. I think it's just because it's too, I find it too sweet. <laughs> I used to love corn, and it'd be like so addicted to corn, but I haven't been eating corn lately. But I do have some in the freezer. Um, and I eat a lot of soups, because I make like a lot of soups. Like the vegan chicken noodle soup is almost gone. Uh, <clears throat> I still have to make the lentil soup again, because that's gone. So it's like, oh, that has... I cook a lot of food, but I eat literally most of it. Uh, I don't really throw, throw that much away. Um, so, yeah, I think part of it's because of the medication. I eat a lot more than I usually do. And I don't eat as much chips like before. I usually have, like, the pasta and the fries or, like, uh, something with bread on the side. And then that's pretty much it. So, I don't really eat as much chips as I used to, but I still have it in case I'm craving it. Oh, uh, yeah, so I want to keep cooking, but I just don't have the energy. I'm starting to, like, get to the point again where I'm hallucinating kind of thing, <laughs> where I'm looking at things and I see things, but it's not clear, and it's not my vision, like somebody I was also thinking about that, oh, maybe it's a vision, I'm like, technically I'm supposed to be wearing glasses, but that's not why, it's because I'm tired, and usually when people don't sleep, they kind of like hallucinate, they don't focus properly, <clears throat> and that's when I end up hurting myself, so, like, I still had the bump on my, on my head, that's why I'm like, even though I saw the wall, a few, a few days ago in the office, even though I saw the wall right there, I still walked into the wall because I was just so tired. And then I banged my head. But then it woke me up. But <laughs> I have a huge bump on my head still. I probably can't see because of the makeup, but I still have it there. So I'll show you this side. So yeah. Kind of sucks, but like I said, I've been trying everything and I think. It's just something that you have to live around, because, like I said, I've been doing research on it, I've been asking everyone, I've been trying different things, I've been talking to my neurologist, and I've been doing the things that he suggests, and nothing helps, so he just says, if you better sleep, just sleep. When you get to a point where you know you can't focus straight, just sleep. And it's actually good that I eat before I go to bed, because, like I said, I take my medication. 
I'm going to eat with the medication. Um, and yesterday I wasn't going to take my medication, but then I ended up shaking again, so I had to take the medication, so I'm just going to go back to taking it every night before I go to bed, because when I don't take it, I'm shaking. So that's why I keep saying, I'd rather be sleeping than shaking. <laughs> Because when I'm shaking, I can't eat. And that's literally why I took the pill last night. Because I was trying to eat and then I was shaking. So right now I'm faking it for those who don't know. But my purple is going like this when I shake. So to like get the food when you're shaking, it's kind of hard to do. So when I take my medication, I could eat. <laughs> But then it makes me tired, so I go to sleep, so... That's the unknown shaking condition. I still have to call my doctor. About, um... Talk to my doctor about my heart, but I think I'm going to go in on Wednesday anyways, because I also have to get my devil. So good. <laughs> I'm always eating. Always eating. But, for those that don't know, I've been on a double shot for a couple of years because when I don't take the shot, I'm under 70 pounds <laughs> because when I first had this condition, I wanted to make sure that was part of the reason. It wasn't, um, and then I ended up being 70 pounds again, which is really not it safe or good so as soon as I take the shot then I end up going back to 100 pounds for some reason and depot is actually birth control but technically you're only supposed to be on it for two years and I don't know how long it's been I think it's been longer than that <clears throat> so I have to find out about that because I'm like I don't know what I could do for the weight gain because when um I'm not on a shot, then I'm under 100 pounds, and that's not good. And when I was born, I was 2.1 ounce. So, I was like, my dad literally put me in his hand. That's how small I was <laughs> when I was born. So, I was really small. So, I've always been small. And the only reason why the photos look like I look big is because it's close up. But I'm not, I'm, I'm small, so... Yeah, it's just kind of crazy, so I'll find out um, tomorrow, I mean tomorrow, Wednesday, when I go in, because I like to get my shot anyways, so most likely my doctor will be there. And then I'll talk to him about my heart, see if I have to get that tested or if they did that. I think they did, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but I know everything else that have been tested because I've asked about the kidneys, and I've asked about the um, Wilson disease, I think it's called Parkinson's disease, everything you could think of. <laughs> they all tested, except them. I don't think they did my heart, so. I remember when I was in the hospital a few times at the beginning of the condition, because I went to three different hospitals, they did all the same tests too. And they didn't find anything wrong, so that's why they just say I was born this way. It just happens to be my age because even my mom said <clears throat> one of my uh, cousins, I think, yeah, um, supposedly there's a vowel or something that we didn't, they were waiting for a vowel for the heart and. He was tired all the time. And when he ended up passing out when he was walking, they died. Because he couldn't get that out. So that's why my, mom, my mom's like, double check that it's not your heart because if you have to be on the waiting list. Because <laughs> my aunt was also, um, I think she was, she was supposed to get a vowel too, 
or she got she got it but then she oh she I think she passed away during the operation something like that so that's why they're like oh I'm gonna check out my heart so <laughs> but I don't know what all that stuff is like what about is and all that stuff so I don't even know if like my body can handle that <clears throat> kind of thing because I'm so small but I don't know anyways but we'll I'll talk to my doctor on Wednesday and yeah so it's 121 so I feel kind of bad that I didn't get to do the dancing then but like I said I'm going to start it today so it'll most likely be the first thing that I do when I wake up um because now that I've done so much cooking I have some food for the next two days so I don't have to worry that badly but <clears throat> I do have to do some more cooking. I actually enjoy cooking. I wish I could cook more because it's actually fun. <laughs> I like shopping things. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good stress reliever. Same with baking. Baking I find very very relaxing which is weird but I just haven't had the energy to do it so that's why I keep saying as long as I do one thing and today I was literally in the kitchen all day <laughs> <laughs> so earlier today I picked that thing, the Reese of Peanut Butter Cups, and then I did all the dishes and cleaned half, at least a quarter. So then tomorrow I'll have to do the other side and the side, but I'm only doing it section by section instead of saying I have to do the whole kitchen. I'm saying just do a section and then if you can't do it, do it tomorrow because in that way I'm not too overwhelmed. And then that seems to be helping a little bit, but because I feel bad that I can't get everything done that I want to get done. But like I said, I better go to sleep, otherwise <laughs> I'm going to hurt myself. So this is actually better. Um, so yeah, just do what you can and take it day by day and remember you're not alone that's why I do these daily updates <laughs> and yeah that's what I made today so this time I added the balls of vinegar to the pasta and I think it makes it so much better actually um, <clears throat> but I love pasta and french fries those are my two favorite meals and uh, noodles like Asian noodles but so I usually have either like pasta noodle, pasta and fries or like noodles with fries or something like that. So I know it's not really that healthy, but it's my comfort food. <laughs> I do eat vegetables and I do eat raw vegetables. Um, I don't eat as much as I probably should, but I do eat them. And like I said, I took my protein shake, so that helps, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get ready for bed because I just can't think straight. And just remember, don't overdo yourself, do what you can. And that's all you can do. <laughs> it's just do what you can when you go to sleep, sleep, and then wake up and do whatever you can all over again. Just... Make sure you pr prioritize things that you have to do so when you wake up. So that's why I go, if I have like meetings to like see people or like hang out with people, I don't do anything but that when I wake up um, after I eat and then I go see them because then that way I know I won't be shaking and I'm awake and then I sleep. <clears throat> so that's why. Or if I have an appointment, I make sure that as soon as I wake up, I just eat something quick, and then I have my coffee, and I go out the door because I gotta get to the appointment before I pass out. And so now when I'm at home, that's what I do too. I do what's the most important thing, and right now it's food, so I've been cooking and baking whenever I'm awake, and looking after the cats, <laughs> and tomorrow... I will do hopefully the dancing. Hopefully. 
Because um, <clears throat> like I said, I want to do, that's why I'm making it a challenge. Because then for seven days, I have to do two dancing videos. So if I have that in my mind, and a goal, then that way, hopefully I could do it. <laughs> So yeah, once again, like, share, comment, subscribe, donate if you can. If you're not vegan yet, go vegan. If you don't want to go vegan, at least try to cut down. Uh, that's all that I ask. <laughs> and um, thanks for watching. Welcome to my haunted world. XOXO OG. Opera goes.